How's it going everybody? I hope you're having an awesome day. Today we are going right into some attacks. Just going to be trying to take out some of these bases. And let's see what we are looking at here. We have a symmetrical base here. We've got some exposed arch tires. So I'm actually going to bring in some minions. So that instead of using one baby dragon for each of the arch tires, we can actually kind of split it and have two minions take them out instead so that should work out pretty nicely also I see there's not a whole lot of air coverage I mean there is a lot of air coverage but we can potentially bounce the battlecopter around to eventually take out this giant cannon so it should go to the elixir storage then a double cannon and then the giant cannon that should work out pretty good so let's use Two minions onto the archer tower there we will need to send in two baby dragons for the lava launcher but we do want to make sure that these archer towers are taken out so let's start with the baby dragons get them rocking and rolling make sure these cannon carts are still firing away always want to make sure that they are going at all times. So we'll use that one over there. Use the second baby dragon. Beautiful. And then we do take out that Mega Tesla, which is awesome. And we get a couple of bonus hits to help out the number six cannon cart. Wonderful. So now all we have to do is hopefully not hit too many bombs. I'll just leave six right there. Don't want to risk it any more than that. Take out this roaster, then we should be good to send four and five onto mobile mode. Let's see here, definitely don't want to move number six. This is one hit away from death, so we'll let four and five cruise around. So we hit a push trap, not too bad. We'll see, we're still running low on time. So let's see here. Okay, the firecracker is not too high hit points, so we have a few seconds left. We go into the second stage with all three of the cannon carts. Definitely very, very good. So now all we have to do is try and take out the multi-mortar, and we should be good. So let's bring in another baby dragon. Oh, well, actually, there's corner buildings. Scratch that. We'll bring in the barbarian still, because we do want to take out these corner buildings. And then we'll probably save one to test for some traps in front of the or maybe not even test for traps but just to help out in case the guard post troops get some funny ideas so number five should be able to take out that cannon force taking out the top cannon and the idea is to take out all these cannons so that our battle machine can run around the base free from any harm or mostly any harm so we'll start on the top side of the base here <clears throat> since the cannons will be going down here shortly summon the barbarian help take out the guard post troops and then we'll send in oh we found some teslas on the back side of the base very nice we'll let number six cannon cart take out one of them we'll move in number four a little bit closer um Let's get the baby dragon here on this last one so that it will eventually go for the the multi-mortar and we've got the breath ability still active. We can take out all the zappies and get a very nice six star attack. So let's see if we can have the light. Alright, we are on to the next base. Interesting layout where there's an empty spot in the core of the base. Surely there are no traps there, right? Surely not. So, let us bring in the baby dragons. Because they work out very well. And there is not a whole lot of air coverage on this right-hand side of the base. So we'll send in the battlecopter over there. We'll prep the other sides of the base that we want to eventually take out with some of the baby dragons. Because when this battlecopter takes out the lowered arch tower, there's nothing else on that side of the base. So... I mean, it's out of range of the roaster, out of range of the Tesla, so it can take out that pesky ground expo, so we don't have to worry about it at all. Now, we'll use one baby dragon for the giant cannon for sure. 
Maybe... Maybe something else. We'll see. We'll see how far this one baby dragon gets. One, two, three, four. Breath ability. Take it out. Definitely use one on the giant cannon. So we don't have to worry about that. And then does this take out the lava launcher? It does. Wow. Lucky us. We can actually save the other baby dragon for this arch tower. And we should be locked and loaded here to go on to the next stage. Use the breath ability. And let's see here. Nothing else is really posing a threat here. Battlecopter is still alive, which is absolutely insane. So it might actually survive this entire battle, which is wild. We'll stop four and five. We'll have the Battlecopter ability go off, and yes, it will survive. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. So we do have to be careful when we go into the second stage to not use the Battlecopter since it is super, super low health. It's absolutely devastating when you forget to change your hero to the Battle Machine. So, no corner buildings, but there are some of these empty spaces in front of the cannon. So I'm actually going to bring in some Barbarians, test for traps. Beautiful, we find one of the Teslas right off the bat. I'm sure there's another Tesla over here. Yes. Seems like a very symmetrical type of base. So then I guess we will start the cannon cart over here down south. We'll see if we can, we can draw the attention. We'll use those barbarians. Beautiful. And we should be good. Alright, so all we have left here is to take out the multi-mortar. Each of these corner cannons are going to be going down. So once this top one goes down, I think we'll start the battle machine up top, let it cruise around, grab the attention of the multi-mortar, we'll make sure that we don't kill off our cannon carts here, we'll make sure they're still shooting just out of range of some stuff. I think we'll send in the baby dragon, take out the Tesla, because there's really nothing else that's going to be able to damage our battle machine so we'll let it charge up to the third star ability and everything is destroyed so we'll send everything in make a giant parade in the core of the base and we don't even have to worry about the zappies because we took out the auto outpost as the last all righty people gonna have to mix up the attack strategy because just so many traps against the cannon carts at least today while i'm playing so getting just absolutely smashed here so the other strategy that i do like to use from time to time to mix it up from the ground attack strategy is the dropship minions we'll see if it works it really depends on how many traps we find you know if there's a lot of traps then the strategy does not quite work out but we shall hope and see so the Battlecopter from very far away. Usually want to send it from as far away as possible. And then we will take out some of these corner buildings with some of the minions. And then we want to prep some of this base. We're going to slam this right hand side. So we're going to do two minions onto the air bombs, one to the arch tower. And then the rest of the minions, and then we'll have one other dropship in reserve. We take out the air bombs pretty quickly. Nice. I think we'll send the other dropship up top so we can eventually take out that Mega Tesla. Getting closer. Perfect. We do get the bomb off just in time. So now we'll use three and four. Damage up everything else in the base. And then hopefully we can blast through this back side of the base got one low dropship about to go down do they take out the tesla they do beautiful and then we've got just that one tesla remaining so not too bad a couple minions left and then uh do we get okay it's on the lower dropship okay so we do get kind of lucky there so we get an extra dropship so now what we're going to be looking at in the second stage is trying to take out all those firecrackers as many as we can so 
What can we do here? Definitely going to be using the Battlecopter. And I think we send in... What do we do? If we take out this cannon, we do have access to all the three firecrackers up top with a cannon cart. That would be pretty nice. Similarly, we can take out two of the firecrackers from the right-hand side with two cannon carts. So I think that's what we're going to do here. Well, there's the exposed multi-mortar. can also send two over there. So let's... I like that idea the best. So let's send in just two cannon carts. I'm gonna clear out the trash buildings real quick, and then they will eventually be able to directly target the multi mortar, and then they can take out that bottom firecracker, no problem at all. So I think what we'll do is we'll send in number seven here, straight on. Beautiful, starting to take it out. One more barrage. And beautiful. The other cannon cart is kind of cruising around, so we'll actually take out that kind of middle one in the base as well. So then I think we send in the bow copter down south, let it charge up, try and get some good value, let the cannon carts do their thing. So we'll be able to take out this firecracker up top, which is nice. We'll send seven on mobile mode, get a little bit higher DPS. So we can hopefully help out with the firecracker down there and I think we send in both of the maybe both of the dropships and the minions to this firecracker and then we'll let the battlecopter take care of the zappies they will have one firecracker remaining and that should be fine Send in number seven, start cruising around. Be mindful of the cannon range. So we'll use the battlecopter ability on the zappies. Take those ones out, beautiful. And we're on to the last cannon. Very nice, we'll have to just keep seven on mobile mode since we're getting really low on time. Do one more hit from eight, mobile mode. And do we have enough to take out the last elixir? Storage, two, one. Oh man, just barely. So close, so close. Well, we've had kind of a mixed day. We'll look through, you know, some six stars and then a lot of fails. So not the greatest day. I think we actually did end up going down in trophies. I would imagine because you do need to be getting some six stars reliably. So yeah, we're about thousand. So yeah, about the same. So. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll be trying to mix up some strategies for sure in the coming days. And if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. There's a couple more videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. Until next time, take care.